G'day, Tonya Reeves, Australia's Psychic Cowgirl, coming at you. It's afternoon here in Australia, but I think it's evening for most of those in America and Canada, so I believe anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you've had a good week. Uh, it's been pretty frantic here actually. It's We've had a few different things on and it's just, um, how can I put it? It's been, yeah, it's just been crazy. I look back and I think, I don't know what I've done, but yeah, anyway. So uh, I was chatting to another friend and he was saying the same. So I went, yeah, it must be just something that's (laughs) happening at the moment. Now, today I will share some insights in um, a lot, uh, I suppose, messages that I've had that have been consistent throughout the readings that I've done over the last week and a bit. And that's been, for a lot of people, it's almost like we've got to the middle of the year, we started off at a pace and we're kind of feeling over the last, I don't know, four to four to eight weeks, a little bit stuck or a bit like, hang on a minute, I need to regroup, where am I at? And I just feel like I relate to that energetically. It's a little bit like we've been pulled back to take a breath and consolidate what it is that we want to bring into our lives over the next six months. I feel like, you know, the energy is vamping up again. So we'll be able to really step into things. And I just feel energetically like for those that are honoring the space of being pulled back um, and, and just taking a breath and allowing the messages and the signs to come in. And for most people, they do. Pretty much everyone, you get the signs. We just need to take a moment to observe. And, you know, often we we tend to forget that because we're busy with life and we're very much like, you know, I'm busy doing. So sometimes we need to just go back to being. So I just wanted to share that because I think it's something that we can all be reminded of and, you know, it's a a part of life. We're always, things are transient, so nothing ever stays the same. But know that if you're being pulled back or you're feeling a little bit held back at this point in time, I feel it's to prepare you for this next half of the year. And there is going to be a lot of, a lot of picking up the pace and for a lot of people, being in alignment with doing what they want to do and feeling like they're making progress. So if you're feeling a bit like you, you're just puffed up is pretty much the the feeling. Over here it's winter, so it's not so bad to be puffed up because it's quite cold and, um, you know, it's nice to enjoy that downtime of the year, which I always find winter is a bit, and that gives us that breather ready, you know, getting ready to hit for us into spring. Um, And, yeah, I think that the seasons often replica where our energy flows for that that time. And, of course, that's not for everyone, but, yeah. So I've found through sitting back and just allowing things to fall into place, I've been making some new connections. I've I've found that, you know, I'm getting signs. And then, you know, within the week uh, I'll get a sign from spirit and then all of a sudden – someone will make contact or I'll have a sign that, yeah, that was what they were just showing me. So that's been really cool. And I really think that's something that we can all do when we're taking that breath or we feel like we're not moving forward as fast as what we maybe have planned or, you know, just we're just feeling a bit bit flat maybe because the energy is lower, that we just need to then go, okay, let's look for the signs. Let's take that time to just look for the signs and see where it is that, you know, the next step of our journey is. Because sometimes it can be a bit different to what we play out in our head. And I enjoy that side of it because I like to be kept, I like to be kept on my toes. I like change and, you know, I like to have a challenge. So to me, if everything was the same, I would be bored. I would be so bored. I would be like, you know, I'd have to create something just to, to you know, to to get throw things out there and be different. So yeah, so and I think, you know, ultimately the the you know the biggest lesson in life is getting used to change because as we know, it is the one constant in life. And you know, when you're changing, you're evolving. And I often say, when one door closes, it's to make room for something else. And as much as sometimes that can be really hard and unsettling for a lot of people. Um, with this transient stage, I'm finding a lot of people are are almost um, being, they are being a little bit redirected. So it's a little bit uncomfortable. And, you know, go back to the old saying, nothing 
within your comfort zone produces the biggest amount of gold. So sometimes we have to be shaken up a little bit, taken outside our comfort zone and, you know, shown something different. So bear that in mind. If you're going through struggle at the moment, we're feeling a bit stuck. You know, I just feel that's a, a, a constant message that I've been sharing over the last week and a bit. So I thought I would share it today because <laughs> we could all do with reminders, me included. You know, often when I, I do a reading and I'll get a little nudge from spirit to say, I need to take note of what I'm connecting, the message that I'm giving somebody else, I can also take away as well. So that can also be with us. If you're giving someone advice or helping somebody out or you're sharing wisdom, and you're feeling a bit like, oh, I, you know, I've just got that little bit of a realisation that's the same as my situation, then know that that will be the case. And, you know, that's that's just how it is. So, yeah, go with the flow. It's like, yeah, go with the flow, chill out, inner peace. You know, I think inner peace is the best, the best place to be or be able to access when we need. So just remember that. All right. Now, let's see. I've got my first caller. Anshul in Toronto, Canada. Yay. Love Canada. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Very good. <laughs> awesome. We often we often get likened to Canadians over here in Australia because apparently you guys are laid back as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I can't wait to get over there. <laughs> No, so you awesome. should get yeah, here. So it's very good weather now. It's like summers, and I know Australia is getting into the winters now. So oh yes, we're very out. cold. At, we're very cold at the moment. So I'm like, yeah, we would. I would love that. <laughs> it's definitely on my radar now. to visit. Definitely. So For pretty sure. over there too. So anyway, well, seeing as I'm, I'm, you know, limited to time, I'll get straight into some info for you. Did you have something you wanted me to focus on? On Shal or just yes. um yeah yep. it's just a, I think a general uh, I wanted a general reading because my every area of life has issues so I don't know what specific <laughs> thing I can have. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's just we'll, we'll focus on the overall. Um, first of all, I've got a male stepping in, in spirit. Is your father in spirit? Because I just want to go to I've got a, a man stepping in. Who's your like your protector? I'm sorry. I've got a male stepping in for you who's like your protector. He feels father-like. Yeah, my father passed away 20 years back. Yep. Wow, okay. Because I just feel like he's a little bit like your guardian. So in stepping forward, he's it's almost like I want to go to he's got your back. So he's bringing in the information for me. Um, there has been mm -hmm. a big shift for you. In particular, I want to go to something around the relationship. Um it's almost like you're, you've been shown something for a reason. So has there been something that, that's transpired that has almost made you have to stop and rethink where you're at right at this point in time? Yes, I actually got married last year, uh, but my husband yep. is still not here. And he's, he's trying to get here to Canada. He's in a different country. We had a long-distance relationship. Oh, wow. And then we got married. Yep, yep. Uh, but we've had some issues, yes. Yeah, so that's and so that's to do with the paperwork. So is there something missing in the paperwork? Is that what they're telling you? There's something that's not complete that needs to be um, part of this process with getting him to you? No, paperwork is complete. We are just waiting for the last step now. Uh, everything else has okay. been done. We are just waiting for the decision now. Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like, I don't feel like it's a no, so I feel like the decision's around there, but I just felt like there was something that wasn't quite ticked off yet. It's kind of like what, what, I, what I was being yeah, shown. But it's I think, like, I feel I like think he, we had he, more, we had, me and my husband had issues. We, it's this long distance, it's already difficult, but it's, it's just difficult. We've had some, and it's just, some issues. Yeah. It's disheartening, so it's a little bit like I feel like he feels a bit worn down with it. And, you know, when we get disheartened, mm -hmm. it then tends to make, make everything look a bit not as ideal as it once did. But I feel like things will change once he comes over and it's almost like, um, the, you know, things will fall into place better then. It's just been that long a struggle and that ongoing. And I also feel like you, you guys thought it would be a lot quicker. So it's almost like, 
you know, I was excited and I'm ready to come and then all of a sudden it's like the rug was pulled out or there was something that was more of a hiccup than initially thought. Mm, great. Okay. So there's that there's that question around. So it's also making you question a little bit too, I can sense, like there's there's something around you going, oh, my God, you know, is it not meant to be or is this, there's something – um, is there another? Yeah. Is there another guy around you as well? Because I feel like there's somebody else as well. I don't have anybody around. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like this. Oh, well, that's interesting. I'll I'll leave that one with you. But it's like there's somebody else around as well. So it's always like because I feel like for you, I'm going. You know, I'm in two minds a little bit. But I just want to say on that, it's like spirit showing me that. Um, you know. It, what is meant to be will be. And I feel like I definitely see him coming out um, and I feel like there will be a bit of adjustment for both of you. You know, of course, when you're finally together after having a long distance, it changes the dynamics. So I feel like that will be when you will go, okay, am I, you know, am I going to 100% commit to this or not? Right. But well, I don't then. see it being, I see it's okay. going to be your choice. Um, and also that will then bring about change with finances. So I feel like, you know, a little bit like I said at the beginning of this um, this show that you're, you've been in that holding pattern. It's like everything's waiting for something. So I feel like I'm I'm a little bit frustrated because it's like I'm, I need more money to come in and I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, stagnant where I am at the moment. But I, I feel like it's just like one thing needs to shift and then that will create the wave for you for things to change. Okay. Okay. So um, from the relationship, you said it's my choice. So yep. are you seeing any break from my marriage? I see him coming over and you guys, you know, like giving, putting it to the test, I suppose, in the true sense of, of being together. And then almost like you will then, it's not that I see it, that it won't work out, but I see that you will then make the decision based on how you feel about everything and how it's set up. Okay. Okay, but it's not uh, – okay. when I say that, I don't want you to to, uh, to overthink it or worry about it. It's like it'll happen as it needs to and things mm -hmm. will fall into place. It's like I've got – it's almost like I've got dominoes and I just need one to move and then the rest will fall into place. And what okay. is it around your your where you're living? Is there a question mark around that? Are you going to change that when he comes over? Yeah, there's a question mark on that as well. That's why I said in the beginning, yeah. it's like every area. Yeah, is yeah, like yeah. And and that is honestly where I feel you're at, and it's like spirit showing me that you're. We're just waiting for one thing to tip. You know, like we're we we we're in this holding pattern it's like come on can one thing give me a break and that's where you're sensing that at the moment um but i just feel like it's the first thing will go and then the things will fall into place after that okay 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 where does the little girl okay. fit in too for you because i, I want to say i see in there's spirits presenting me with a child oh okay so you don't have any okay. children? Uh, my brother just had a niece. I have a niece. Uh, she's like 10 yeah. months old. And what about children for you? I don't have children yet. Yeah, so I feel I like there's something around yet. it. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Interesting. There's a child. <laughs> I feel like this child's <laughs> for you. <laughs> okay. So... There's a question mark there. <laughs> no, a lot of question marks. It's like full of question marks right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I also want to say, just to, to give you clarity on that, is Spirit is showing me you're getting the signs. So please take note when you're shown a sign because I really do feel like um, your dad's going, she's getting the signs, but maybe you're not taking notice. Yeah, I am actually because a couple of yeah. uh, weeks now, I'm, um, I don't know, it's some patterns which I see now and it's like sudden moments and I suddenly see those patterns. Uh, but I'm not able to understand exactly what's the message coming in. I was trying to 
figure out in my head. Uh, but yeah, it's like, it's like I, yeah, I spirit is giving you signs. So in that, trust what you feel around those signs. Like you will get a feeling. It's that first instant thought, not overthinking it. You know, normally when spirit give us a sign, it's a really quick, you know, it's a few seconds of something. And if we just look at it and then it, then check in what it feels for us, but don't overthink it. So it's almost like if I'm feeling like that's a sign to say, yes, I'm that's in the right direction or yes, that feels right, honour that. Don't try and break it down or make it any more complicated than that because you are getting signs and they are correct. Okay. 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 So it's like you, you should, yeah. you're very well guided with spirit and your intuition is right. Um, I feel like around the, the relationship at the moment, you're having – there's a little bit of overthinking on it and I don't feel that's just on your side, that's on his side as well. But I feel like once you come together, that's going to change. Okay. Because the two of you have a pretty cool connection. Like when you first met, there was something about him that was really familiar very early. Right. We had a very good connection and that's why we decided to get married. But I think, um, yeah. I don't know, I've had some thoughts about it now recently yeah and yeah and it's hard when it's long distance because you know it's a it's a real struggle regardless for anyone and I just feel for you we need to get that connection back again for you to actually know where it sits with you okay are you planning okay. where does the plan of the two of you catching up have you been over to see him or you, are you planning to go and see him I'm um, sorry, planning on doing what? Visiting him, like going to see him? Uh, not yet, because we thought that it would be done and he would be here in summer because he just came yeah. in January this year. But yeah. now it's kind of delayed and uh, we're waiting and I just switched my job so I can't take off like that in between. Yeah, damn, because I feel like if you if you could just take that time to go and catch up, you would be able to rekindle and get that message through really clear. Okay. It seems a little difficult but, right now because um, I, I just started a new job uh, two weeks Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah. Look, don't, it doesn't matter. I, I just feel like for you, we're just going to sit back and go, what is meant to be will fall into place here. Okay. You'll get, you'll get okay. clear signs. Just trust that because it's like you're getting signs, but you'll get even stronger signs. Okay. And I don't feel like you've got married for no reason. So I don't feel like it's just a case of you've done that and you're going to go, oh, my God, what have I done? I, I don't feel that. I feel that it's for a reason. Right. Okay, so keep the faith okay, on that. I, I, yeah, I will. And I'm, I'm kind of just uh, a little, little confused about the other guy you said, but I think I'll just let it be for now. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, we want, yeah, we want to keep it uncomplicated for you. And I just want to, the, probably the main thing in this message for you is just, honour who, who you are and you will make the right decision. So don't get into your head about, oh, what if this or what if that. Just go, you know what, I've got my new job, I'm setting myself up and whoever's meant to be in that picture will be. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So it's your time to it. shine this year. So, so don't doubt yourself, you know. I feel like for you there's – there's still the best is yet to come. So there's a, a lot of great stuff focusing on and being around you. So it's almost like whoever comes along will be joining in on, you know, on, on what's to, to come for you, which is good. It's a positive thing. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank trust you yourself. That. Yeah. You, you're on the right track. Don't, you know, and that's what the, that's, part of the message too is you're where you need to be at this point in time and we're not going to over worry about it or do case scenarios you know we tend to as humans do these right. what if this and what if that you know just let that go and say you know what I know I'm where I need to be and all that is 
for my highest good will come to me. And that's a great affirmation even to have. All that is for my highest good will come to me always. Okay. Okay. okay? You got this. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my that. My pleasure. Absolute Thanks, pleasure. Tanya. Leave all those doubts behind. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel for you. you, you you're all good. <laughs> okay, I better go on to my next caller. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you, Thank you so much. Take care. Yeah. My pleasure. Okay, I've got my next caller. Ev Ivona, I think it's it <laughs> Ivana. Ivana? <laughs> Ivana, yes. is that right? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. You think being psychic, I'd know how to pronounce names by now, wouldn't you? It doesn't work that way, though. <laughs> uh, so how are you today? <laughs> thank you for ringing in. Oh, um, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, well, um, my, my questions or what's on my mind is love. I met this man named Dan and his feelings are growing for me, but he's um, apprehensive about getting in a relationship with me. And um, I'm just wondering what you see around that and our connection and okay. maybe what I can expect or any advice. Yep. So you're quite a powerhouse within yourself. And I feel like um, when I connect to your energy, you're, you're fairly independent. And it's almost like I don't need... I don't need somebody to complete me, but I'd like someone to come along for the ride. And I feel like with Dan, it's a little bit at times he gets a little bit intimidated and I don't feel that's a bad thing, but it's just like he gets a bit overwhelmed at times. And it's almost like it's just a case of him adjusting to that. So I don't see it being a big thing, um, but it's like, Almost like I feel like you both like to shine, and sometimes together we, we're in we're in a little bit of combat as to who's the boss here. <laughs> yeah. right. Does that yeah. make sense I mean, to you? I understand that he's a musician, and we're both really well known in our community. And, yeah, um, yeah. I, so I, I like... want to support him and be his girlfriend. I see a future with him, but I feel his fear. Like his fear is blocking us from moving forward. You know. But I know he loves me, yeah. and I think he's still excited about it, but he, I'm just not sure of it because of his apprehension. So I think he does. Yeah. Careful. I, I, I don't feel like, I, I feel the same. I feel like um, the, the there's a real deep connection for the two of you, and I want to go to, like, there's, you know, like a, a real soul connection in coming together. I've got two people that have something pretty special, and... I, I just feel like the apprehension from him is just something that he needs to get his head around. So it's almost like I feel like he's he's just wanting to take things, you know, th 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 almost like not keeping his options open, but it's like I want to just ease into this because it's very powerful. And to be honest, I don't think he's had this before. Do you think what? I don't think he's had this sort of connection that the two of you have be had before. I've, and I also feel like I want to go to spirits showing me there's been, for him, there's something about past relationships and being controlled by women. So I feel like yeah. there's that, whether his past relationship, he was a bit controlled and he's a little bit scared because of that. Um, and it's hard to get his head around the fact that you're not like that. Right, right. I, you're spot on 100%. Um, I myself am also an empath, intuitive reader for other people, so I just want to tell you that <laughs> you're doing a great job. But it's hard Thank for me you. to read Thank for my you. own self. Obviously, you're aware of that. It can sometimes be Absolutely. a struggle. Absolutely. That's why I wanted Absolutely. a third-party opinion from you. And um, I want to know, do you think that I should be... I, I don't feel threatened by other women, but he has people who still have feelings for him and he's a musician yeah. so it kind of comes with the territory that there's women that yeah. are interested in him you know should i you don't need to be you don't need I just to be worried open to him because i really see yeah, a lot yeah. of possibility and i'm holding space for that yeah i i think you're absolutely bang on there and i to me he's the sort that once you have his heart it's he has got that element of a free spirit so he likes to be able to to still communicate with others, but he is a sort that once his heart's 
captured, it's captured. So it's almost by holding space, you're showing how strong your love is for him because you don't need to be jealous of somebody, you know, when you're in a, in a, and it's almost like I'm in an even relationship, but I see the dynamic of the two of you being great. Are you good? Any good with timelines? I'm just asking because I'm not. <laughs> do you think that you can see us being together well, in the future or anything like that? Yeah, look, I do. It, it, what I see or what Spirit shows me is it's like w he's consolidating. He's at that consolidating stage. The more you allow him to do that without putting pressure on, the quicker it will happen. I see. I see. Okay. Right, because it's like you, you're taking the pressure off. You're saying, I'm here and I'm giving you this and, and you know what he feels for you, but I'm not going to put pressure on. If it takes him a few months more to really consolidate, I'm going to allow that because, you know, when you sit in allowance, we bring something to us. When we tend to grab onto something, we can tend to repel it away. It's almost like we're energetically trying to hold on to this end result. And for you, you know intuitively it's going to happen. So we don't need to worry about, you know, it's like you've got him. So don't, I would not let doubt or, you know, anything, anything to do with trying to have a definite, you know, I've got to be committed 100% because he is committed. Mm -hmm. So you're right, right with that. Good. And keep doing great with what you're doing. And I see the two of you travelling. So it's like between him being the musician and you doing your readings, we can we can do some traveling. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I, we have been doing that quite a bit already. So I'm glad you you see that in the future. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, I do. I, was I just see. Kind of like, wondering fun. whether or not <laughs> just to, to confront him or to wait. And I feel like that I've been told by my own spirits to wait and be patient. Yes. But I didn't want to miss an opportunity if I felt like I had it now. You know? Yeah, no, no, just you are holding great space. Like just waiting is almost like the proof in the pudding for him is the fact that you're, you are waiting. You're not putting pressure on. So you've got this. Okay. <laughs> and you're spot on. So you're in that, tune with it. I, I don't know how you gather this information, but is there anything that maybe I should know about him? Like, is there any advice or is there anything that maybe you think could help i know that things happen the way they're meant to happen i'm just wondering if yeah it, it'll yeah. happen don't just don't worry about it i have to go because i'm going to be cut off jump onto australia psychic cowgirl facebook page just shoot me a message and i'll elaborate okay i must go I'll see you next week everybody Woohoo!